Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Mastercam's Swiss solution. My name is Chris LeClaire and I'm the Swiss product specialist at CNC Software, the makers of Mastercam. Let me tell you just a little bit about myself. I've been at CNC Software for eight years and I have over 30 years of Swiss experience. I've worked for Star and Sugami as a direct employee, as an applications engineer, and I've programmed and set up Star, Citizen, Sugami, Swiss Tech, Tornos, and Hanwha machines. So you have a Swiss machine and you're wondering, how do we program this machine in Mastercam Lathe? So the Swiss solution was designed inside of Mastercam's Lathe interface. It was designed to cover most five to seven axis Swiss machines. And we have branched out from there. So we do have post for B-axis Swiss. We have post for gang turret Swiss machines, triple turret machines. So if you have a Swiss machine, contact your local reseller and find out if your machine is supported. One thing to keep in mind is that the NC code is customizable to your needs. We have most of the major players, Star, Citizen, Sugami, Swiss Tech, Hanwha, DMG, Sprint, Ganesh, and many more. It's very easy to use and understand, and it works with Mastercam 2018 up until our current release of 2023. Another key note is that all of the MP posts are developed and maintained by Postability. Here's a snapshot of Mastercam's Swiss solution inside of Lathe. It looks just like Lathe. You still need to choose a tool and type in feeds and speeds and select an axis combination, apply lead in and lead outs, just as you would a lathe part. The difference is that as we process through a customized post processor, the code reacts more like a Swiss machine than it does a lathe. It's very easy to program different machines and controls because we can set up switches inside of Mastercam. Here's an example with the cutoff switch being set to zero and having information set in these fields. Once we set this to a zero, it's only gonna output what the post is required to output based on this switch. So these four variables, the values here, are gonna be output in Mastercam. If we change this switch to a one, then we're gonna get a different set of outputs from the post. All the same information is loaded here, but the output is different. This is very helpful when customers have the same style of machine with two different ways of programming it. If you run citizen machines, you know that MC data is a big part of programming a citizen machine. Here is a page showing where we would set these variables for the MC data. Sugami has a laser cutting attachment that you can add to your machine. If you have one of those laser cutting attachments, you can use a switch here, turn it on, load in all of your variables for laser, laser cutting, and output correct code. If you don't have a laser attachment, then we can remove all of those needless variables and clean it up a little bit and give you the minimum four that you need to run a Sugami. So Lathe Stock Advance is each machine's setup page. This is the important difference between the Swiss solution and programming a lathe. Every Swiss part inside of Lathe will utilize as the first operation Lathe Stock Advance. This triggers the post to output the correct startup code for every machine that we have available. How do we determine where the code goes? Does it go on head one or channel one or dollar one or does it go on head two or channel two or dollar two? Well, that's determined by axis combinations. When you select a tool path and you select geometry, you have to select an axis combination. The post looks at it and outputs the code in that correct path. Here, we have an example of three basic axis combinations, the gang, the sub with no y-axis or the sub with y-axis. But these also can be modified. You can see here with a star SR20R4, which is a B-axis machine, we've added 
some extra axis combinations to kind of separate the post so that it knows which group of tools we're using. The Sugami SS20 utilizes four axis combinations. So it's all up to you and how you want to break down your machine. Custom machine options are handled per operation as well. STAR has what's called high frequency turning or HFT, which is a, a turning chip breaker as an option. If you purchase that option, we can add into your post the ability to output the code and it'll output your M code with your access designation and your on and off delay timers. Or if your machine's equipped with axes that can do balance cutting uh, or balance milling, pinch milling, we can add those in as well. Citizen uses machining patterns, G600s, G800s. We have manual entries for that, or we can follow the axis combination and output the axis uh, the machining patterns through the axis combination. But if you need to add in a separate machining pattern, which is different than a axis combination callout, then you have that ability as well. We also utilize G50 shifts. You type in the shift for your X, Y, or Z, or your U, V, and W. We output what you type in, and then we cancel by just changing the sign. This eliminates any mistyping of numbers. We can set up options for sub feeding onto the part or rapid approaching and rapid feeding onto your part at part pickoff. Here with reposition mode set to a zero and a zero feed rate, we're just gonna rapid our sub spindle right onto our part, close our sub spindle chuck and cut the part off. If you want a rapid approach and then feed onto our part, which is maybe a little bit safer, well, we can change this to a one add a feed rate amount and get our G98, G1 feed. Again, posts are customizable to suit your needs. There are many things in MasterCam lathe and mill that's, that are still there. We haven't changed it. So if you wanna do polar milling, G12.1, cylindrical milling, G7.1, all of those options are there. But if you need certain options or certain things, we can add those in for you as well. Weight commands are available on a manual entry basis. So you would manually type in your weight commands before and after. Here we're programming a lathe drill on the main side utilizing tool 11. And on the sub spindle side, we're utilizing another drill in the same tool station facing the sub spindle. We apply a before and after weight command on both operations, generate code, and you see the M250 weights on both head one and head two. They drill and then they wait depending on who finishes first. Here's an example of cylindrical chamfering. Proven mill paths are available at your fingertips. All of Mastercam's proven mill paths are available, including dynamic milling, dynamic grooving, swarf five axis machining, surfacing. If your machine can handle it, you can program it. Here's an example of end working three axis polar, angular drilling, B axis and adjustable milling attachments utilizing G68.1. Or if you need to do true five axis contouring, we have that ability as well. Code Expert, which is the NC code editor supplied with Mastercam, has the ability to post out streams side by side. So your head one on the left, your head two on the right, and we can sync up our weight commands. So at a quick glance, we can tell codes that uh, act as weight commands or true weight commands like M200 with a star. We can see very quickly whether everything is lining up properly. Here, head two is waiting for an M82 RPM sync. Once that happens, head one waits at an M40 while the sub spindle comes in, picks off the part. Uh, this is a very useful tool for a programmer to see his finished program quickly as to whether weight commands are working properly. Here's a list of some of the machines that we offer post for. This is not our complete list, but 
uh, very close to it. And you can see that we have certain machines with B axis, certain machines without. Uh, some are, as I said, split slide. Some of them are gang slide. Uh, some are turret, turret and gang. So if you don't see your machine on this list, contact your local reseller and ask them. They'll be able to help you out. We do post testing at Mastercam. We actually have a Swiss machine in our manufacturing lab. We have a Swiss Tech RB20Y where we run parts through and test tool paths, test code, test our post. Here's an example part that we were cutting utilizing a three station face milling head and utilizing front and back working, deep hole drilling, live tools on the back. So we keep our hands in the Swiss market by actually running Swiss machines in our facility. Again, Chris LeClaire, I'm the product specialist for Swiss machines at Mastercam. And if you have any questions, please contact your reseller or you can contact me directly. Thank you for your time.